uh, injury update, as you, you know, Smitty will see where his ankle is. Um, uh, Big Bill's got a got a peck, so we'll see where that is going forward. And then Darnell Wright was also announced uh, with the knee, and then Jalen Jones uh, had the shoulder. Um, and I know uh, uh, questions will be about Caleb. I, I did see him; he was he limped off of there a little bit. Um, we did. Uh, he came in, looks to be fine. We'll check him in the morning. You never know how those things go uh, going forward with that. Um, you know, in the game, I'm obviously very disappointed um, in the game. And, uh, you know, it started off, we had, you know, six to seven there. And we had that penalty, the leverage penalty. Uh, and again, I, I was talking to the officials about it, you know, what, you know, exactly what, what that was. And, and, you know, in terms of, I know the penalty, what the penalty was, but in terms of what happened out there. So I'll get some clarifications on that. But that was obviously a big play in the game. And then the score, you know, on the uh, end of the half. You know, and to, and to me, that's on me. I, I, I call it a pass defense, a pass pressure, um, and they end up running the ball. And again, uh, I can I can call make a better call there. You know, that's on me. So I do believe um, that our run defense um, needs to, needs to shore up. And again, when you have a big run like that, obviously the numbers go up. But uh, again, we know how to do it. We've done it in the past. Um, it's important that with the same guys, you know, it's important that we shore that up and make sure we do a better job. Coaches, uh, starting with the coaches and then the players after that. Um, you know, so then we end up at nine, you know, twenty-one to nine there at at the halftime. Um, we come out on offense and don't get anything going on that first drive. You know, so and then they, uh, you know, they get some things going and we went for it on fourth and ten from the forty-four. You know, at the, at the start of that fourth quarter, you know, we were down fifteen. So, you know, that's a that's a choice there. Again, we took a big sack on that one, so that put them in the minus. You know, on their side of the fifty there, they kicked the field goal after that. Um, had the safety uh, on the backed up. Um, you know, so that right there, I thought that was a good call by the officials. The guy was engaged, and we did we did cut uh, uh, there. So I thought that was a good call there. And again, overall, it's just uh, not good enough. Uh, not good enough by the players and coaches, uh, by the staff. Everybody's involved, and that's what I said to the guys in there. Starts with the coaches putting you in position um, to make plays, and we didn't do a good enough job of that today. And then uh, we got to take an inward look, everybody, um, as we go forward here. And uh, working into tomorrow, uh, guys will be in the building here uh, before noon and uh, start the next week. Uh, we've got to find some good answers uh, for putting our guys in position. And uh, we've got to do a great job of executing this week. You know, we're 4-4 four and four right now, a halfway point through, um, and, and starting a new season right now. And to me, it's about uh, getting this first victory and being 1-0 this week. You mentioned your accountability for the call mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the half. Um, what is your accountability for the offense? What do you need to do to get this offense on track when it, it seems like Caleb's development is stalling and you guys are scoring nine points? Yeah, yeah, full responsibility. Full responsibility for that. You know, So uh, we'll work with the offensive staff uh, tomorrow morning uh, as we watch this tape tonight and, uh, and find answers. You know, find answers for running the ball first, you know, making sure you do that and setting everything off of that. And then making sure we have good actions off of that um, to start on first and second down, and then when we get uh, protections, we got to make sure we. I know we got six uh, sacks six times today, and the pressure was there. We got to make sure we're we're good with flipping those things and making sure our protection is clean too. Because when you protect your quarterback, um, and our quarterback's a good quarterback, and and uh, when you protect him, he can get the ball on the field and uh, and do a good job there. Is it ankle or knee for him? Um, it wasn't report reported. I saw. I saw he tweaked his ankle. So that was that was what I saw. Why was he still in the game at the end? Yeah, we're just getting work, getting work, and getting timing, um, and uh, getting timing on the two minute uh, two minute operation, and that's that's what we were doing. Matt, defense, sense, the defense was out there too. There was a sense that today would be a measurement of your response to a, a turbulent week. Mm -hmm. You guys came out and lost by twenty. What's your response to the performance today with what everything that led yeah, up? Yeah, much of what I just said. Much of what I just said. We got to circle the wagons. and We got to do a really good job of staying tight. Um, that's what you do in, t in times of adversity. Um, you know, we got everybody we need in that in the circle of men in there, and the staff members in there, and the coaches in there. We got everybody we need, and uh, it, take an inward look and making sure we're doing things the right way. Um, starts with the coaches first, and then uh, starts with that practice on Wednesday. You know, we got a lot of lot of uh, things to answer here before Wednesday, before we get on the practice field, and uh, it's important that we do that. How do you measure the buy-in of the group? The what? The buy-in. Yeah. I, I'm, I know I know every one of those guys uh, really well, um, and we've built those relationships over time. And my buy-in's all in, and I know theirs is too. And uh, we got a lot of football to play. You know, we got nine games uh, in the regular season, 
and again, we're starting out. It's four and four, and uh, we got those games to play, and it starts with next week. The degree of difficulty gets much higher, though, in terms of opponents, uh, definitively pretty soon. Mm -hmm. uh, what tells you that based on being four and four at this point, you guys are ready for that? Just the confidence in the players, in, in, the, in the talent we have, um, and, and the, in the, you know, the buy-in from those guys and how hard they work. Um, you know, sometimes you don't get the results you want all the time. You know, so you have to look in and say, hey, what can you do better? And that to me, and, and sometimes it's just that small. And, and if you figure that out, um, then you turn the corner um, and then you work to the next one. And you get your first victory, then work to the next one. Into the decision to uh, sit Tyreek at the start of the game. And did you have issue on Wednesday during the walkthrough when he went in and it took some time? Yeah, we know, it's like I've said before, we've made decisions you know, for Tyreek uh, during that time. Um, and you guys saw that, you know, he didn't start and all those things and, you know, and, and that's where it is. Um, you know, Tyreek, like I said on Friday, had a really good week of practice. Uh, he played well today, had a good pass breakup, had, had some nice tackles. Uh, so he put his best foot forward and his teammates and his coaches and all of us in that circle got his back. And, um, yeah, that's where it is. What prevented Montez from playing today? Yeah, we, we worked him out. Uh, before the game, it was just it was just too painful, you know. So when he was turning the corner to make the the rush, you know, turn the corner there. So we'll see where that is this week. He said he took a cleat from a Washington player to his shin. Is that all it is, or is there more to it than just a, a laceration? No. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it's more to that. Um, that that's what that's what it is. Um, but again, there's there's pain when you turn the corner. You know, when you're a defensive end, your ankle has to have flexion in it. You know, and you got to make sure that you're able to have that mobility um, in your lower extremities to be able to play the way he plays. On the, on the long touchdown run, what is your sense of what could have been done better besides the call? Obviously, you're not expecting <clears> to give up <throat> yeah. 53 in a situation. Yeah, like I mean, it, it's, a, it's a pressure. It was third and five. It, they were at the 44. Um, you know, so you're trying to you know, do a good job there and make a punt you know, and not get in the field goal range with the time that they had because they still had two timeouts. Um, so it was a shell, it was a shell pressure. Um, so there's two safeties back there. You know, so that's that's important that the the shell of the defense gets the runner down. So you got two corners and two safeties that can keep the cup, the big cup, on there, and uh, we just have to do a good job there. But again, I could have called a better call for sure. Two more. Did you get any perspective, or what was your perspective on that safety in the the one at the end of, towards the end of the game? Yeah, right? it was a good call. Yep, yeah, he was engaged. I think uh, Tevin was engaged with the block with the uh, rusher, and I think Swift ended up cutting him at the same time. So I think it was um, from what I saw from the replay and what I got from upstairs that it was it was a legit call. Man, what can, what can you guys do to put Caleb in better position? Because obviously a game like this is just it's tough for any quarterback, especially a rookie. How do you put him in a better position going forward? Yeah, you have to find answers, right? You know, we you know three weeks ago we were doing this, right, and it was looking good, right, and then now we got to find answers. You know, you got and that's that's why I always say this this league is week to week. You know, so we got to find answers to put our players in position, you know, to to be successful, including Caleb. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.